Reading the tape is a skill that can change the trajectory of your trading. It's an essential skill when we take opening drive trades. Hi, I'm Jeff Holden, head of recruiting at SMB Capital, a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, trading equities, options, futures, and crypto as automated and discretionary traders. Today we read the tape on an opening drive momentum scalp trade. This is a very clear trade with very defined characteristics and a very straightforward plan, but so much of the edge in this trade comes from the ability to read the tape and make the necessary adjustments to your trading to make the most of the opportunity offered by this setup. This was based off of um, earnings earnings day two for AMD. Um, I personally did not like the overall earnings. I didn't want to trade them on day one, but after seeing how um, strong of a of move that we had on day one, um, that enabled me or wanted me to basically want to trade it on day two. One thing that I just thought basically looking at it day two, the levels I thought were, were really clear, kind of looking into the close of the day, this 97 area was at the, the low um, from the afternoon with a majority of the core um, support basically here being down here into 97.50. We had a tight range basically in the afternoon between 97.50 and 98.50. And then that also the top of the range here was also towards the, um, the high of the day at 98.77. And then I really what really pay attention to AMD for day two was that the pre-market high also was aligning with the um, day one high um, yep. at right around 98.77. Um, so that's really what kind of when I have those kind of levels really looking or lining up together, if I'm looking for a day two continuation trade, that's what I'm kind of looking for. I'm liking to see a pre-market level being aligned with the day one level in the afternoon, whether it's to the top side or to the uh, short side sorry, long side or short side. Um, so basically, if you get a, a short side trade, um, if you close low towards the low of the day, and then that pre-market low kind of lines aligns with the afternoon low, um, that's where I'm looking for that day two continuation. Um, so for example, with this trade, um, it was aligning to the top side. Um, so I was looking for a day two continuation trade. Basically, what it ended up happening was I had a buy higher script in um, at the top of this um, afternoon resistance level at 98.50. Um, and that's where I actually started from uh, with the, it was kind of more of like a break of the resistance level from the afternoon, but also an anticip anticipatory um, pre-market high break, momentum break as well. And and just to make it very simple, so you get that momentum break, like we know what the level is, you use yep. the high from prior day, you use the pre-market high. This is a very straightforward trade. Where's your stop? Uh, for me, 97.50. Yep. Um, I thought right right below like that afternoon support, a core of that chunk, like I said, the bottom of that range, 97.50. I'm hitting momentum, breaking out of that range at 98.50. My stop's at 97.50. Yep. If you want to learn three more real-world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven-figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right hand corner of your screen that will open up the free registration page in a new window so don't worry you won't lose this video you can also visit tradingworkshop.com to register for this free intensive workshop you're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education so basically what i'm looking at um we are kind of opening we do open towards the bottom of that range um we are coming we're going to open up i think the open was at 97.59 so one thing that I'm really looking for um, on the open here is basically I'm looking for that afternoon low that we broke or that was originally there at 97. I'm looking to see if that trade is is now this if, is this going to invalidate the trade. Um, so if we get a drop below 97, I think for me that that's going to enable me to not want to take the trade. So I'm really looking for here off the open um, with having my buy higher script at 98.50 for that anticipatory breakout for also for continuation. I'm really wanting to see 97 hold coming into the tape. I really want to see like if we instantly open up at 97.50 and we instantly spray down below 97, if you start to see acceleration to the downside, that for me is telling me that there's sellers stepping into this tape and that therefore I don't want to take the momentum to the top side. 
So what I'm really looking for off the open is I'm really looking to see like more of like a tight spread um, and really that 97 level holding. Um, so I really want to see like a slow tape off the open. And then I want to see that acceleration to the top side. So as we open up, we kind of get that spray down. We're only 97.59 was kind of where we opened up at. We end up basically we're in a tight, like I'd say like 20, 30 cent range. We're not really being able to break 97. 97.59 was the open, like I said. And then there's a point in time on the tape here where we start to get a push right back above through open at 97.59. And then we instantly spray up to towards like that 98 level. Whereas like, as you can see right here on the tape right now, we're really kind of right there actually is where I'm looking at. As you can see pro from the open here, we're really only like maybe like 15 to 20 cents is where most of the, most of the tape is being um, seen at right here is we're not really being able to see that there's sellers trying to step, uh, step, the, step into this and basically send it below 97. So let's, this is, this is why. So we've got the context set in the trade. Yep. So let's go through this. And this is a weird tape because we're using somebody else's and all that stuff, but just wanted to, wanted to do it. So let's see it. Yep. Like I said, this we're right here into the 9740 area. We're really not breaking anything much exponentially lower, right about right around back there open right there. That's where I'm looking at that acceleration. So we've instantly basically spray up from that 9740, 9750, all the way up to 9780. Um, so that's where I'm really starting to look for the acceleration in this trade that gives me the overall confidence to actually take this trade. Um, as you can see, we now are basically back up. We ended up getting to 98, 98.13. And so really for me, like I said, I'm really looking for this to continue and, and really see a, a speed up in the tape in order to take the buy higher through 98.50 through that level. Um, you can really see the tape is still speeding up. We're still accelerating. Um, we're not really slowing down. And that's where I really want for is like a slow tape off the open. And then with that speed up and the acceleration to the top side. So basically, as you can see, we're coming into 98.50 now. This is where once we break 98.50, this is where my buy higher right there ended up getting filled. And now I have a stop basically at 97.50. Um, if we break 97.50, as, as you can say, that pre-market area right here and also the low, the afternoon support from yesterday. So I thought the clear, the levels were really clear. You ended up having a slow tape and then you get to see the acceleration to the top side. And, so, and that's exactly what you want to see. You've got a, a point move up into a level. You Like when you get that resistance, that actually makes it a better trade. Right. Correct. Because it's like the sellers had their shot. Right. There's yep. less of a chance yep. of a rug pull because there already was a rug pull. <laughs> so now it's like you you can kind of let it accelerate and, and we should watch it to let it accelerate. Yep. And so, so as now we're approaching the pre-market high, um, 9876 yeah. was the pre-market high. Um, so as you can see, we we're still uh, you're kind of looking at it right now. Like you're still if, if we would have hit like 9876, because meanwhile, I'm still in this. I, I'm already in the position at 9850. If we get up to 98.76 pre-market high and we're not really able to break and you see an instant sell-off back down to like 98.25, that's where I would kind of be a little hesitant with it. But you're really kind of just... because yeah, your 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 stop can actually go back to the open at this point. Correct. Because now you're um, pre-market high. So. And now you can see, you're still seeing that speed and the acceleration of the tape. Now yeah. we're we're still seeing that, that speed um, coming through. Uh, eventually we'll see it through 99. But for me, that's kind of where I'm looking at. I'm still looking to see if there, once there's either going to be a decrease in that acceleration, that's where I'm kind of looking at to kind of look for that, okay, momentum is dying down or yep. there I'm not in the correct trade. Yep. Um, so for me, when I end up taking the trade, my first target that I was looking at was into 99.50. And then I'm looking yep. obviously into 100 for that psychological level. What are you seeing as we accelerate? Now we are accelerating. Yes. So we are, we're still seeing that acceleration through 99. Um, one thing that I'm looking at here is um, with my target, I think I ended up getting filled because my offsets, uh, like I said, I have a 10 cent offset for my, um, for my orders. So I, once we ended up, I think I had a 99.50 order and I ended up getting filled here. So I did, I took off, I took off about, I think it was about half of the position into 99 or sorry, into 99.40 right there at that high. 
And one thing that I'm really looking at, you start to see in this uh, second, I think it's like the third or fourth minute candle, you'll see um, there basically is going to be 99 is going to be held. Um, you're only going to see like maybe like a 10, 10 to 15 point uh, cent spray, basically. So I think it gets to like 98, 90 or something like that. Um, so I'm too much. Stop. Stop predicting. Okay. Start reading the tape. I don't I don't need to know what happens. I want to see what you're seeing. Okay. Right. And so like so like what are you seeing relative to what should happen? Right, right now, I'm starting to see the tape start to slow down. Um, it's not yeah. getting that as much um, acceleration to the top side that we are getting above the pre-market high into that uh, intraday high at 99.40. You're starting to yeah. see the tape start to slow down right now. And, and pause it for a second. Pause it for a second. And I've got one other question. Okay. Why Why do you feel like you're seeing the tape slowing? Just, I, th I think basically for me, because like when you're going through that acceleration, you're seeing like you're you're spraying basically up like 20, 25 cents at a time. So basically yep. when we broke through 9876, you instantly saw the tape skip up to like 99, say 15. So you're yep. instantly seeing that. Whereas like now you're not seeing that. You're starting to see Correct. more of why more of a, why are you not seeing it? Uh, I think for me, you're basically buyer maybe into that whole level, like 99, maybe it's people are starting, these orders are not getting as filled. And now there's kind of more, maybe sellers are trying to step into the tape to basically try and hold it below 99. So yeah, I think I mean, also, it just went up two points, right? So I was like, just going to say an over, overextension good, yeah. maybe. And, um, and we got the characteristics of an overextension with that acceleration into that 9940. Like, the speed at which we went above 99 to 99.40 is totally different than the speed. You know, that was the fastest move that we had. Correct. And you can't really see it on the on the on the chart, but you can we could see it in the tape. It literally was skipping prices up there. Correct. And that's um, for for a really good momentum trade. That's it. Honestly, that's it. You got exactly what you wanted. Like we got the so if we go back and watch just that section, and we're talking about you know two minutes into the day, right? Yep. Like this is not. This is not a super complex thing, but it's such an important concept to get right. Is this is what good, really good momentum trading looks like? If you go back probably two minutes and let's just watch it above 9860, right? So, like, go back to where we break 9860. Okay. So, 9860, just watch it. We don't have to talk through it. We don't have to worry about anything. Let's just watch it. So, it's 9860. And, you know, I'll talk through it if you don't mind. Like, okay. Yeah, of know. course. So, so I'm not seeing any reason for me to feel like this is overextended, where if I look at the chart, I'm like, wow, it's pretty fast. But like when I'm looking at the tape, it's so steady, right? It's like not jumpy. It's not whipping around everywhere. It doesn't feel like there's like, you know, if this is a hose, it's just a constant steady flow, right? It's not like a wild sporadic amount of water coming in and out. It's just a, a very consistent flow for that momentum acceleration now i start to see everything speed up speed up speed up speed up speed up we're starting to skip a little bit all right we get above 99 like we can pull into 99 and be fine but if we keep accelerating from here even then it's real acceleration now that's real acceleration right there and yep. so it's almost like after that that's like all right that's pretty good i'm gonna take that <laughs> you know and like like you just kind of particularly on this next time it goes up there you just put an offer up after you see that acceleration and you don't put an offer up at new high a day because you don't know it's going to get there. But like halfway between that 9920 and 9940, like you just have your offer up and you get taken for your shares and that's it. Right. Yep. You just made yep. a really good momentum trade and then you have the room to let it come back and do whatever it wants to do. That's it. It's really, really not that complex. Correct. Where people get in trouble on this, I think, is you you don't take the momentum trade that was offered and you're like, but what if it goes to 100? Well, you can always just buy it back, right? Yep. Like sometimes it will go to 100, but the reality is that acceleration was so aggressive towards the end of that up move. It was different than the acceleration leading to it. So whenever you have that really aggressive acceleration, you know, if you're looking to get short, you can try a short there. Right. If you're looking to get long, you can get or if you're in a long, you can use that as your reason to sell, you know, for really good momentum trading, which this is a really, really, really good momentum trade. 
the buy above the, the level and then you sell into the momentum, you just take the trade. That's it. If we don't worry about what happens next. We just kind of sit back and take a second to reset and then take the next trade. But really, this is like amazing, an amazing version of a really, really good momentum trade above a level. So, you know, I'm really excited that we got to look at this because it is, I don't care what happens next right now. If we pull into 9880 or 9870 or 90, you know, 99 even, I might be interested in buying for that move to 100. But for right now, it just needed time to reset. So give it time to reset and that's it. Of course. And that's, that's where basically, um, like I said, when, for, when we were talking live through this, where you started to see that, that speed, um, start to slow down and you saw the tape start to slow down. That's where I did. I made that mistake of basically getting out at 99 and I lost that, that 40 cent that we were talking about. And that was where right, basically right there was where I was looking at where I could have actually, instead of getting out of half of it, basically to get out of the full position, I made my momentum trade and then look for the next trade after that because you ended up yeah with the open at 97.50 in atr at the time was right around three dollars so you're up about almost 75 percent of an atr just in the first two minutes it's it's a specific trade too right because we're Correct. paying a breakout so this is what breakout trading is it's literally you're paying the breakout you're letting the momentum accelerate if it you know you're paying the breakout with a defined level for your stop you know, you're moving that stop up as the price action works in your favor, and then you get acceleration and you exit. That's it. Yep, absolutely. It. And then you you move on to your next trade. And if you do this three times a day and you're risking 20% of your stop a day and you make, you know, let's see. So say we were risking a point and we made 60 cents. Is that right? Is that how much we made in this trade? Uh, no, no, no. Nine. Uh, if you go 98.50 where I entered and then oh, okay, so we made 90 so, cents. Okay, yeah. So in theory, we were risking about a point, right? And yep. we made about a point. And say you're risking 20% of your stop and you do that four times a day, like you know, that's 80% of your stop, about you know, and you can just keep doing that all day. And yeah, it, it requires you to be engaged, but you know, it's also a pretty easy way to trade, <laughs> correct? Without yep. having to worry about what's going to happen next, so. Sometimes these things are more complex and other times they're more simple than we, than we think. And I think this is a great example of just when something's really simple, just take the trade. Yep. So. I know that's, that's one thing Lance talked about is what was, he always says like, what was, what's the easiest way, easiest trade to make easiest money. money. And easiest I, money. Yep. That's it. On this, this is day, this is where money. I thought this was it right here. You have levels that are aligning almost to a T. And yep. if you're looking for a day two continuation, like I think with, levels that are aligning that's that's where what you're looking for you're looking for that momentum driving it for a continuation trade that's great that's really good so um thank you it was really really simple and, and actually like a great example of what a pure buy higher script should look like and what a great outcome from that trade is hey go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they're producing for you in the trading community and please take the time to add your feedback in the comment section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video from all of us at SMB. Train and trade well.